Welcome everyone to this discussion on Linux security in 2025. We're diving into how antivirus software is no longer just a Windows need. It's crucial for Linux now, especially with those targeted breaches. Yeah, absolutely. It's fascinating. Linux used to be seen as almost invincible, but now hackers are um, focusing on its vulnerabilities, right? Exactly. Um, the myth of its invulnerability is cracking. With Linux now powering over 90% of public cloud infrastructure and so many IoT devices, it's become a major target. Right. So even though Linux has a solid security by design foundation, like the tier-based permissions, it's not enough anymore? Yeah, precisely. Sure, Linux has a robust built-in defense system, but modern threats, ransomware, cryptojackers, even phishing, are demanding extra layers of protection. Mm -hmm. It's like having a safe with a strong lock, but then leaving the key under the mat, if you know what I mean. Totally. That's why solutions like AVP Suite Total Security are stepping in. They offer a 360-degree cloud-based approach for protecting servers and Linux systems, which is, um, super key for enterprises handling sensitive data. And they integrate features like real-time scanning, VPN integration, and identity theft alerts all in one package, correct? Yes, exactly. It's built to be all in one, meaning you get antivirus, privacy, and identity protection without really sacrificing performance. Yeah, I noticed that while AVP Suite is highlighted as excellent for an all in one solution, there are other options like Bitdefender Gravity Zone, Sophos Intercept X, and even Clam AV. How do these really compare? Great question. Bitdefender Gravity Zone, for instance, is tailor made for enterprise level security. It offers centralized control and high detection rates, which is, um, ideal for large-scale deployments. Right, but they do come with uh, a higher price tag, don't they? For businesses with strict budgets, that might be a sticking point. Exactly, and that's where a balanced approach is important. Then you've got Sophos Intercept X for Linux, which is, um, great for technically savvy professionals who need robust ransomware and exploit protection, but can live with a command line interface over a fully graphical one. Yeah, and let's not forget Clam AV, the free and open source option. It's perfect for those who want a customizable, command line driven solution, though it lacks um, active protection by default. Right, Clam AV is definitely appealing from a cost perspective, especially for advanced users who can script out their own protection measures. It's like choosing to build your own custom security system. Mm, but here's where I kind of wonder. Do you think that an open source tool like Clam AV can really keep pace with the evolving threats, given that it doesn't have active protections out of the box? That's a good point. While Clam AV gives you a solid base and flexibility, it might not be enough for environments where real-time response is critical. That's why in regulated industries like finance and healthcare, a more comprehensive solution like AVP Suite is preferable. Right. It sounds like the choice boils down to the environment and user needs. Mixed OS networks, for example, definitely benefit from robust, real-time scanning, right? Exactly. Especially since security research, like the CrowdStrike report, has shown a 35% increase in Linux-targeted malware in 2023. That stat is a real wake-up call. Yeah, right. It underscores how even systems thought to be secure need an extra layer. And then, there are installation guides and configuration details, which really make it accessible. People can, for instance, easily install AVP Suite by just downloading the installer, accepting the license, setting up real-time scans, and enabling VPN features. It's like the best practices that every Linux admin should follow. Bitdefender Gravity Zone also has its own clear steps. Create an account, install the agent, and configure central management policies. And for the command line wizards, Sophos Intercept X has that pretty straightforward command process. I mean, sudo install.sh is as simple as it gets for those comfortable in a terminal. Yeah, and ClamAV's installation is super direct too. Just a couple of commands like sudo apt install clamav and sudo fresh clam for updating the signatures. It's really accessible if you trade off some real-time features for cost and customizability. Right. 
I also found it interesting how the article lays out specific scenarios where antivirus is crucial, like servers handling sensitive data or networks running mixed operating systems. It pretty much drives home that, um, no one should assume Linux is immune. Absolutely. And that point, in my view, challenges the old school mentality. Even with built-in security features, the reality of modern multi-threaded attacks means, um, everyone has to adapt their strategies. Yeah. You know, I have to respectfully challenge one aspect, though. Sometimes it seems like the sheer number of options can overwhelm users. Not everyone is a tech expert. Wouldn't a simpler recommendation or a fully automated solution be more beneficial for, say, small business users? That's a fair critique. While the detailed breakdown is invaluable for those with technical know-how, it might be a bit too in-depth for someone just looking to plug and play. I guess that's why solutions like AVP Suite, which balance ease of use with robust security, are highlighted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all about trade-offs. And speaking of trade-offs, the performance impacts are fairly minimal these days, like only a 5-10% CPU load during active scans. That's pretty acceptable for, um, modern systems. Right. And with continued innovation, these antiviruses ensure that the added protection doesn't drag down system performance significantly. It's a win-win when you consider the potential damage a breach could cause. Definitely. I guess the bottom line is that Linux users can no longer rely solely on its inherent security features. Proactive measures are essential given the evolving threat landscape. Exactly. Whether you're running an enterprise, handling critical research data, or just using Linux on a personal machine, choosing the right antivirus solution, be it AVP Suite, Bitdefender, Sophos, or Clam AV, can make all the difference. Right, and the detailed installation guides really help demystify the process. It's all, um, laid out step by step, from downloading the installer to setting up scheduled scans via cron jobs on Clam AV. Yes. That clarity is crucial for ensuring that even less experienced users can secure their systems effectively. It's not as daunting as it might seem once you break it down. I also appreciate that the article underscores the importance of uh, user cyber literacy. The human factor often makes all the difference in security. Even the best tools need knowledgeable users behind them. Absolutely. It's like having the best guard dog in the world. If you don't know how to properly train and manage it, you might not get the full benefit. Yeah, exactly. So, in a nutshell, the risks for Linux systems are rising, and so should the ambition to protect them. It's really an insightful perspective on modern security needs. For sure. The key takeaway is solid. Don't assume security is guaranteed by design alone. Augmenting it with intelligent antivirus solutions tailored to your environment is a must in our current landscape. Absolutely. Well said. It's a reminder for everyone managing Linux systems to stay updated and proactive in a constantly evolving threat environment. Exactly. Stay protected, choose wisely, and keep your system secure in this rapidly changing cyber world. Thanks for the great discussion. Thanks and stay secure out there.